Gemma, what was the reason you came across for Alberton? Yeah, um, obviously six years um, at Fremantle and was just looking for a, a change and a new challenge. And um, obviously just looking at the list um, with the coach, Lauren, and obviously players like Aaron um, and Ange Foley already on the list. Um, yeah, just wanted to come over and be a part of the team. Talk us how you got to today, how the club worked through everything out. Yeah, um, so I flew in last night, um, big day today with all the media and I guess the official announcement and fly home back to Perth tonight. How big of a role maybe did the prospect of playing there and having your decision? Come? Yeah, uh, hugely. She's um, an incredible player on and off the field and just her, um, you know, you just see her um, powerful performance in the AFLW and just knowing what she can bring um, already to clubs to learn off her as a player. I'm really excited for that journey and I can't wait to get started. Has she been a bit of a role model for you from, from afar and, and for other players across the league, do you think? Yeah, absolutely. I think everyone would look up to her in some sort of way. Um, obviously, myself being a cross-coder from basketball, knew her through basketball um, and just to watch her footy and you know how talented and incredible she is. Um, yeah, I'm excited that she's not on the opposition and she's on the same team. You, you talk about the list being a selling point. It's only about six or seven players big at this stage. Have you, what sort of promises or what have you been told about the sort of team that you're expected to play with in four or five weeks' time? Yeah, well, obviously through um, the AFLW, I've been a part of an inaugural club already, so I know, I, I guess, um, you know, being in the competition for six years, what's expected to come, and I'm really excited to see the rest of the team form and create our own home and we can now start our own journey and obviously have a successful career. And having that experience I guess and, and being a senior player and, and, and coming from Freo where you, you know, it was a club built from the ground up, will you take a bit of a leadership role do you think in, in trying to do the same here at Alberton? Yeah, um, I'm not sure if I'll take a leadership role but um, obviously I'd love to you know, be a leader in any way that I can on and off the field and I'll make sure that um, yeah, I welcome all the young girls in particular um, yeah, with their role. Lauren, a big part of when you joined was all about culture. Yeah. What does Emma bring in that space? <laughs> yeah, Gemma's just Gemma, been sorry. fantastic so far. That's okay. Um, I think you can see from our existing signings that have been mentioned, we've got this wonderful crop of people who have wonderful experience. So Gemma just adds to that. And I think um, her involvement at the football club on and off field is just so exciting for us. And, and she is naturally a leader. I know she'll play that down, but... Um, just the person that she is and the people that we have listed so far um, bring natural leadership, which we're really excited about. And Gemma's obviously a player you think you can build a forward line around? Well, we've now got two reasonable forwards signed. <laughs> so I think knowing that Erin and Gemma will, will be spending some time together in that forward line is, is super exciting from my perspective. Um, and I'm sure there's some more excitement to come. How do you two feel about that we don't have a start date for the season? Yet? Oh. Look, I think every club around the country is experiencing a wait period for those dates and, you know, that's no different for us. So all we can do is plan and prepare as best we can and, and that's what we're doing at the moment. Is there frustration that we don't get, yeah, we don't know? Look, I think there's been, there's been some murmurings amongst players and, you know, people want certainty and what we do know is that there's lots of negotiations behind the scenes occurring. So... To, from our perspective, we've, we've got a lot of things that we need to put our time and energy into and, and if it's out of our control, that's not something we'll be, you know, putting time and energy into something you can't control is, is very unhelpful from my perspective. What do you think? What do you think holding it up? Like, do you get the other idea of what, why we don't have any clarity? I think if we uh, read the media and listen to you guys, it seems as though there's a lot of negotiations happening, as I said, so, yeah, we just float along and do what we can in our space. As a coach, putting together a list, yeah. putting together a team to do a decision, how, I guess, how much time do you need to be able to put together a list, yeah, put together a play? When do you, when's the latest you can you know, find out, I guess, when the season starts and then get, get your team together, get, get ready for pre-season? We're in the same position as everyone, I guess, yeah. So as soon as we have dates, um, all of those things will fall into place. Uh, Naomi Maidman is our list manager and she's been doing incredible work for months and months and uh, yeah we're very much in a position where we can make that work whatever the AFL comes up with. From a player's perspective Jenna, how do you feel that we've got no start date at the moment? Yeah I guess um, obviously a little bit of uncertainty with jobs and everything around that. Myself obviously moving from Perth 
um, yeah, I guess a, a date of when that will be, but um, I'm sure we'll find out um, when the time's right and get the ball rolling. Do you, do you sense frustration amongst the playing, the playing cohort at the moment? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say frustration. I think it's just probably anxiety. Um, you know, it can cause a bit of stress sometimes with not knowing. But, um, you know, I think we're getting closer and closer, hopefully, to um, a result and hopefully that outcome will be announced shortly. What do you know about Adelaide? Adelaide or Port Adelaide? No, that's your, that's your new home. Um, it was well, beautiful. Um, <laughs> it's really nice weather. Hopefully that stays and it doesn't get too cold. Um, but yeah, I'm really, um, I enjoy it. It's very similar to Perth. They call it the city of churches. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to, to getting around and getting familiar with some coffee shops and yeah, knowing the place. You've got family and stuff going to come over or how's it all going to work for you likewise now? Yeah, hopefully. Um, my partner, she'll come over, um, which will be really settling for me. Um, I've asked if I can get a puppy, but at this stage it's a no. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, family will come over. So again, might have to upgrade the, the housing bedrooms. Um, but yeah, really supportive um, family from Perth and they're all excited to join the Port Adelaide family. Gemma, I read that you grew up supporting Port Adelaide. Is that right? How did that come about living over in WA? Yeah, well, um, Probably two reasons as a young child. I loved the colour too um, and really um, admired Chad Wingard at the time. So, um, yeah, just grew up supporting him. I had two young friends when we'd play footy in the park that um, absolutely die hard Port Adelaide fans still are to this day. So, I'm sure they'll catch on to the news and, um, yeah, we'll come watch a game. But I've always admired the club, a, a successful club as well, in that. And I'm just really excited to be here and can't wait to be a part of the family.